Hello and welcome back to Star Trek is Life. Alright, in this video we're going to be talking about B4. B4 was a prototype android constructed by Dr. Noonien Soong on Omicron Theta in the late 2330s. He was one of the three failed prototypes before the construction of Lore was successful. Although B4 was outwardly identical to both Data and Lore, the two final androids built, B4 was not equipped with a positronic brain as sophisticated as those of his brothers. As a result, he had difficulty understanding simple concepts and processing information. The existence of B4 was not known to Starfleet until 2379 when the disassembled pieces of the android were found by the crew of the USS Enterprise E on Kolaris 3. Although he could not remember anything about his existence prior to Kolaris 3 or how he ended up there. The crew of the Enterprise subsequently reassembled him. Although he recognized B4's limitations, Data wished to give his brother the opportunity to expand his capabilities, much in the same way that he himself had in past years. To that end, Data willingly copied all of his memories to B4 hoping that the added experiences would help B4 to expand beyond his original programming. Unfortunately, B4 was unable to immediately assimilate Data's memories and could not remember things Data could, such as the layout of the Enterprise, Dr. Soon, or even Captain Jean-Luc Picard. In actuality, B4's pieces had been planted on Kolaris 3 by Shinzon as part of an elaborate scheme to lure Captain Picard near Romulan space in order to capture him. B4 was also used as an unwitting spy. He was equipped with a second memory port that contained subversive programming that compelled him to download vital information about the positions of all Federation starships and their coded communications frequencies. However, Data and Lieutenant Commander Geordi LaForge discovered B4's unauthorized access and indefinitely deactivated him. Then Data posed as B4 and provided Shinzon with inaccurate locations of all Starfleet vessels, as well as assisting Captain Picard in escaping from Shinzon's ship, the Scimitar. A short time later, Data perished while destroying the Scimitar, having voluntarily sacrificed himself to save Captain Picard. B4 was reactivated so that Picard could tell him of his brother's death, but Picard sadly departed the meeting when his attempts to explain what Data meant to them only confused B4. With his future uncertain, Picard had noted some of Data's downloaded memories beginning to surface as B4 began to sing the song Blue Skies, which Data had performed at Will Riker's and Deanna Troy's wedding. Okay, so that's all we have for right now regarding B4. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.